Hi, this is Jeremy Eckler from The Driven Academy, and we're going to talk slapping today. Our model on this side is Kayla Samica Jr. at Pius. She's got great speed and college offers, so she's a really good player. And we worked on her mechanics. We spent about a half hour, and we looked at something that's a misconception and causes a lot of problems. And that has to do with this idea that contact occurs at crossover. And we see Kayla here at crossover, sort of waiting for contact. And really, she's in a pretty neutral position here, straight up and down. And as a slapper, I like to make three things look like one thing. I like to be falling out of my base. I like to make contact and have direction towards first. So let's look at that. So the simple thing here is to see how much distance she's actually created from stance to contact. And what I've done is put a red dot on her nose at each portion of this swing. So there's stance. There's crossover, so maybe, I don't know, a foot or two. And here's contact, which is virtually non-existent in terms of movement forward. We'll look at the best player and slapper in the world, Caitlin Lowe, and you get to see the amount of force created and energy forward. And you can't just become Caitlin Lowe. It takes hours and tens of thousands of hours of reps, but this gives us some good feedback. And here's your moment of truth. We have Kayla at crossover. And he said it's a neutral movement, which means we've, got, we've gained nothing from it. She may as well be hitting from a left-handed position here because her back foot has no drive. That drive from the back foot is what creates that momentum forward and eventually, as I'll show you, give you direction towards first base. So it accomplishes at least two things for us. That back foot is not doing anything and is proof positive. You can look at Caitlin Lowe and you get to see the amount of drive coming off that back foot. As a result, moving up the chain, contact is created in part because of a strong core being ready to be activated. We have a strong core there that's ready to be activated. Watch it go right there. See your number flash through. And we can look at Caitlin real quick, or Kayla real quick, and you'll see that core is not engaged the same way. So all Kayla can do is rotate, which she'll do there, whereas Caitlin Lowe on this side is getting forward and exploding. Now let's out that misconception that crossover is contact. Caitlin Lowe is through crossover. Her right knee, her back knee is pulling through at contact. She has passed crossover. She has cut out an entire step, or at least half a step, from what most slappers are being taught. Kayla is at crossover. If you don't think this half to a full step is a big deal, you're probably kind of missing the point of slapping. We want to be gaining momentum forward. We don't want to be here and simply popping up. There's no movement towards first. Caitlin Lowe's put herself in a position where she can't help but head towards first. Now let's give Kayla some love. This was the first swing with some of the first slaps. We talked video, we did drill work, which you can't get into now for lack of time. Um, and she embraced this idea right away. So this was a slapper she was in the first five minutes. Here's a slapper we saw leave the building. And you can just see the idea that she has to get forward. She is forced to look at the leg drive. Again, great speed. Now she gets to use it even more efficiently. Look at that back foot working. That's where it comes from. Look at this core fired up. And look at that drive, and she's gained that extra step right there. And that's the byproduct of a good player who's even uh, more coachable than she is talented.